Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have my Ipsy Glam bag that finally arrived today just like everybody else's. I did peek inside, so I'm going to pull it out. And I got the infamous blue bag that everybody else has got. So, I'm not too happy about that. And I'm gonna pull out my products and let's count here. We have one, two, three, four. Missing my fifth product. Um, fifth product that I had in here was the Illumin Illuminati um, Times Isa palette. Um, long story short, I did peek in there and I wound up emailing um, to uh, Ipsy. It is a cute bag, but I mean, the other one is more a Valentine's Day bag, but eh, what what can you do, right? So I wound up getting an email in the middle of the month for there was a technical difficulty or something like that that Ipsy said. And so they wound up giving me, I think it was like a thousand points or something like that. So long story short, um, I wound up emailing them early today and got a immediate response back uh, giving me another 600 points and they're sending me out the replacement palette. So in the meantime, um, I never got around to getting my grand total of this, but I do have prices of the items that I have. Um, oh, I don't even remember what my pick was. Anyways, sorry I look so bad at work today and I just didn't want to Put on makeup for the this because I was kind of upset about it. But anyways, um, I believe what I picked was the Yensa Beauty because uh, I wanted to try this. It was a super serum silk foundation, vitamin C, E, ferulic, bacchol, and then eight super blacks essence. And that's what it looks like in its container. Then we'll open it up and look at it. If you've used this, let me know if you liked it. Um, the shade I got is medium warm. Um, I think that was the only shade, and I think that's going to be maybe a little bit not on my side of shade. So that's what that looks like. In fact, because I want to try it, we're going to put some on my hand because sometimes that'll give me oops. So that's what the shade looks like right there like that. We'll see how this blends in with my skin. Um, it's a little dark, so, and it's a little too, see, it's going to be a little too, well, I can't really see because of my light, but that's going to be way too warm for my skin. So this is probably more of a like towards summer shade for me. Um, we'll try it and we'll see, but I mean, if you look at my hand compared, it's going to be really dark for my skin tone right now. So, and that, you know, in my, I'm like a medium, I put medium or light or something like that on my thing for, oops, I'm getting it all over. Uh, let me get a tissue. I have one right here. Got it all over my hand now. So it's, it feels nice going in on the skin. However, I need a different shade, I think. Um... Now I got everything all over the box. <laughs> That's more of a midsummer type shade, but I don't really wear foundation then. So, all right, and that is worth 48 retail price. And the next thing that I got was the KVD. This this was what they chose. Wait, I chose, they chose for me the KVD and the palette. So the, what they chose for me they forgot to put the palette in so um the foundation i chose so the, um the kvd and i'm glad they sent this because i'm always looking for good powders and whatnot uh we'll go into the bottom here because it's not sealed in the bottom and this is in light this is more my shade so look at this packaging very pretty packaging i've got i'm using my gimbal as a tri tripod and it's like really weird using it as a tripod because it wants to go the opposite way so I'm not talking into where I should be so let's see let's figure out how to open this up oh pretty so this is what this looks like on the inside there's a mirror and then there's a little there's a little shade saver in there and then the little puff and 
it says KVD on there. See, isn't that pretty? So that I'm anxious to try because I like their things. I like their mascaras and different things like that. Um, the next thing that I picked for myself was the Murad Acne Control Oil and Pore Control Mattifier. And it's got broad spectrum uh, 45 in it. I love Murad products. Uh, I have like combination skin and I always like to get like a mattifier. And my pores are kind of crazy when I put makeup on. So that's what that looks like. And this has, let's see, is it safety sealed at all? Nope. No seal. Interestingly enough, for something that expensive, you would figure they would have a safety seal of some point. I'm supposed to look over there, I think, at you. If I'm not, I do apologize. Uh, and then the last item that I picked was the Farrah Palm Brush. And that comes in this cute little box like this. And this is what that looks like out of the box right there. So this is a palm brush. It says this soft to the touch foundation brush is made with dense firm bristles that help to achieve a smooth even application fits right in the palm of your hand for easy use. Made from synthetic fibers, this brush is 100% cruelty free and it says to clean, wash, brush bristles in warm water using a mild soap and lay flat to dry. So that does fit nice in your hand. So you'll be able to go like that nicely with the foundation brush. And I was happy to get that because I, I needed a different type of foundation brush. I like the way this feels. This feels really good. Um, I have one. And I can't find it. I think it's in my, I don't know where it's at. I had a really nice wood one from um, Tarte. And I don't know where it's at. I think it's in my one cabinet and I'll have to look for that. But yeah, so, so that's what I got. I don't have the palette to show you obviously because they didn't. So maybe I'll pop on with a short or I'll just um, take a picture with it over on my Instagram when it arrives to me. But so I got the brush, the Murad, and the Yensa foundation, which is not the right shade for me. Um, yeah, I wish it was a different shade. Uh, I don't know if I was able to pick shades. I don't remember. I don't think so. And then their pick for me was the KVD and the Illuminati. So it uh, looks like around the looking around um, YouTube, a lot of people didn't get what they wanted. Um, they had the different bags. They had the, uh, not the bag that we were supposed to, it was a yellow and or it was a orange and red bag that didn't look Christmassy at all. Um, I don't know if that was the consensus that people didn't like the bag, so they decided to substitute something different. I have no idea. So with that being said, that was my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for December, and they're really uh, ending the year with a bad bang there. <laughs> so crossing fingers that the next one is better. Um, that bag is absolutely the bags for, I've seen those for January, and uh, hoping to get the right bags, because I'm not going to continue on if that's going to happen. So... Well, we will talk to you soon, and sorry this was a short and sad video, but <laughs> it looks like everybody's Ipsy Clampack Plus videos are sad this month, so we'll talk to you soon. See you later. Bye.